Winter is coming. Set the mood for your next Game of Thrones watch party or create a dark, moody vibe this Halloween with our bleeding dragon egg wax melts. While these eggs won't hatch baby dragons, they will slowly melt the blood red liquid enveloping the gray gold of the egg, releasing our sumptuous dragon's blood fragrance oil into your home. To make our bleeding dragon egg wax melts, you'll need the following. 188.6 grams of Carowax 4600 Paraffin Pillar Wax, 16.4 grams of Craftivator's Dragon Blood Fragrance Oil, Craftivator's Gold Synthetic Mica Powder, Craftivator's Cranberry Candle Dye Chips, and Craftivator's Grey Candle Dye Chips. You'll also need a set of digital weighing scales, a double boiler, a silicon eight chunk nine cell block mold, a silicon egg shape mold, a milk or digital thermometer, a metal spoon, a small paintbrush, and a set of nitrile gloves. To start, place the melting pot on the scales and add half of one cranberry dye chip. If you find it difficult to break with your hands, carefully cut it with a knife. Next, weigh out 27.6 grams of wax into your melting pot. Half fill your pan with cold water and set it to low to medium heat. Slowly melt your wax, checking the temperature periodically. Once your wax has reached 85 to 90 degrees Celsius, remove it from the heat. You may want to give the wax a stir to ensure the dye chip is fully combined with the melted wax. Next, allow your wax to cool to 78 degrees Celsius and add 2.4 grams of Dragon's Blood Fragrance Oil. Stir for around 90 seconds. Once your fragrance oil is thoroughly mixed in, fill one eight chunk cell of the block mold, being careful not to overfill it. Leave the wax to fully set for at least one hour. In the meantime, clean your melting pot, place it back in the hot water to allow the residual wax to melt and wipe out any remaining wax with kitchen roll. Once set, take the wax melt block out of the mold and break it into eight chunks. Set aside in a piece of kitchen roll until needed. Now, place the melting pot back on your scales and add two gray dye chips. Turn on the scales and weigh out 161 grams of wax. Set the melting pot back in the water and slowly melt at medium to low heat. Once the wax reaches 85 to 90 degrees, remove it from the heat. Give the wax a stir to fully combine the melted dye chip. Now, allow the wax to cool to 78 degrees Celsius, then add 14 grams of Dragon's Blood Fragrance Oil and stir continuously for around 90 seconds. Once stirred, fill your egg mold cells around one quarter of the way full. Set the melting pot back on top of the pan with the hob off for now. You'll be using the rest of the wax in just a bit. Wait a few minutes after pouring your initial layer to allow the wax to begin to set and take a chunk of the red wax and place it in the center of each egg cell. Carefully push into the wax so it's slightly set, being careful not to push it all the way to the bottom. Leave the wax to fully set for around 15 to 30 minutes before moving on to the next step. Returning to the remaining wax in your pan, set your hob to low heat and allow the wax to slowly remelt to around 75 degrees Celsius. A low heat is required so as not to burn off the fragrance oil within the wax. As soon as your wax is melted, you can fill the egg cells with the remaining wax. Allow your wax to fully set for around one to two hours before removing from the mold and placing on a sheet of clean kitchen roll. Using your paintbrush, lightly brush gold mica powder over the tops of the eggs, varying the amount on each egg to give it a more organic effect. Allow your wax melts to cure for around 24 to 48 hours before using them. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial for our House of the Dragon inspired bleeding dragon egg wax melts. For more tips and tutorials, be sure to follow Craftivator on YouTube. YouTube.